that was kind of the whole point of that prompted this podcast was like yes setting goals and resolutions are important but us as couples need to be supporting our spouse in how in their personal goals and helping us as a team work together to achieve both of our goals and our goals together Welcome to the YMU Podcast. Um, We're glad you're here and we're looking forward to just spending some time with you to talk about some New Year's stuff this week. So why doesn't we get into it? Yeah, Um, it's January. (laughs) Yeah. It's a a new year, 2023. How did you feel like your 2022 went? It was not what we expected, Mm -mm. either of us, I think. but it was good. It's turned out really. It turned out really awesome. Um, yeah. By the end of the year, we really started getting into a rhythm and getting connected with some people. It was really good. Yeah, what I feel like you? every year at the end of the year, you always hear a bunch of people, especially if you're on social media a lot. You hear a lot of people being like, "Oh, I'm so glad 2022 is over. Oh it was a terrible yeah. year." Like you, but you hear that every single year. Yeah. That the last year was awful. But I feel like this year was not bad for us. It was like what you said, not expected, but it was, Yeah. it was great. It was a big growth year. Of course. And we've been super fortunate with our circumstances, um, especially last year, just the people that have come around us during this transition, but it was good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some really good stuff has come out of it. Yeah. I feel like finally for the first time in our marriage and we've been married three and a half years um we have like a direction yeah (laughs) of not for our marriage i feel like our marriage has always had a direction but a direction for like life i'm so excited (laughs) (laughs) yeah but it's new year new you which means new resolutions yep do you normally make new year's resolutions no i think they're stupid Okay, well, well I, feel, um, I just feel like everyone people say oh, I'm making a new year new year's resolution It's a new me when it's, the reality is it's the same you and Yes, the new year is a great time to make changes, mm-hmm. but People oh so often they overwhelm each other, themselves. Yeah with the amount of things they want to do I agree you made me scared there for a second when you said they're stupid because that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about I was like, it. why are we talking about it if you think it's so stupid? <laughs> In general, I would say I don't make <laughs> resolutions, but I do think about what are my the things that I want to accomplish this year? Yeah. Not like these big lofty like, oh, I'm going to lose 30 pounds in January. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get that. So, anyway. Yeah. Um, I... I am a good, I was a really good student in school, and so I looked up definitions in the dictionary. (laughs) Um, I'm going to read them. So I looked up resolution, and it says it's a promise to do something differently in the new year. New Year's resolution, not just resolution. Yeah. New Year's resolution is a promise to do something differently in the new year. Okay. Um... And basically what we want to talk about is we don't like the word resolution. No. We don't like the promise that comes with it because promises are often broken. Right. Um, We like to use the word goal instead. Um, I've also heard people use foundation. I like that word too, but we're going to stick with goal for Mm -hmm. Today's podcast, I don't want to mix it up. Yeah. But we like to use the word goal instead of resolution because we don't want to just be promising a bunch of stuff and then have no accountability. Of course. Um, so we like to create goals that for something that we're aiming for in the new year. That's great. Yeah. So um, the best way to learn some of your goals, which is the first step, you got to learn them, you got to decide what they are. Um, is to just set aside some time and talk about it with your partner. We'd recommend, um, you know, setting your own goals individually and then also setting family goals for your marriage and um, your family if you have kids, stuff like that. Um, 
So our number one recommendation is set aside time dedicated, dedicated to talking about your goals and discuss some of your goals together. Um, and this is a great time to tell each other, like, are you sure that's practical or yeah. do you, you know, what, what's the motivation behind this goal? Stuff like that. Yeah. Also yeah. something we like to do during this time is it's something new, but we decided to come up with a word that describes what we're aiming for this next year. Yeah. Um, for example, our word this year is intentional. That's where we decided on because we decided we want to be intentional with everything we do. Intentional with how we run our business. Intentional with our relationship with each other. Intentional with how we're spending time with our dogs. Intentional with our extended family. And I'm sure we'll be saying that word over and over and over in multiple podcasts and you might get really sick of it. You might have to start bleeping it out like it's a bad word. <laughs> Like, oh, they said the I word again. Yep. <laughs> Intentional. <laughs> um, yeah, but where that's, that came from, that idea of a word for the year, is this last Christmas, Noah's grandma gave us all an ornament that she made and told us to pick a word that describes our past year. And she wrote it on the ornament. I think our word was something like following. Yes. Because this year just... 2022 is not what we expected and it ended up being a whole year of just like following what God has for us and we were just letting go of control and just following yes. him and it led us here. We had to let so go of some dreams and some ideas of what we thought our life was supposed to be. Yeah. yeah and I don't know we just really liked that idea that we decided instead of just looking back and deciding what this year ended up being, which is not a bad thing. We decided to be a little on top of it and have like a reason for why we're doing what we're doing kind of thing. Have a word that guides us through the year. Yeah. So intentional. We're going to be intentional. Yes. Yeah. We're going to do our best. Yep. <laughs> okay. So you're going to sit down with your spouse, have a time dedicated to talking about your goals have your goal talk together <laughs> um goal. if you're not sure where to begin we suggest beginning with the four f's which are faith family friends and finances um you could make a chart or something if you're visual like me yeah. um it's just a good way that we found to like get all those important things together and make sure you don't forget something yeah. taking notes during your your conversation with your spouse is super important writing down all of your goals yeah yeah and we want to emphasize that this time together is not a time to be criticizing your partner it's only a time to be listening it's not even really a time to be like like the time you have as for your family goals can be a conversation but the individual goals is much more a time for listening and not having a conversation or not criticizing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just really wanted to emphasize that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So do you want to give some examples? You want to start uh, with our family goals? Yeah. Let's start with our yeah. family goals. Let's see here. We you want to start or go ahead? Um, you go. I'll go. I wrote them down because it's hard to just remember all of it. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for faith, we said we want to pray together more. We make a point, we have breakfast together every single day, almost every single day, and make a point to pray before breakfast every day, which is a good habit, yeah. but that's basically the only time we ever pray together, I think. Right. Yeah, and uh, to add on to that, the time in the morning we pray before breakfast is not just like thank you for this meal it's we try to be really intentional about the the things we're praying about we pray for our families we pray for um, our, our work and our days and our weeks and we really try and make sure that we're um, we're not just blowing it off as another thing on our to-do list yeah. yeah not every it's not like our meal prayer is the same every time like of course dear jesus thank you for this food help me bless my body amen yeah yeah that's it but that being said it's 
we still don't feel like it's enough. Mm -hmm. um, and it's because it's really important to pray together. Absolutely. Which we could do a whole nother podcast on the importance of prayer together in oh, your marriage we we and will. praying for your spouse. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's something we realize we're not the best at. So that's our faith goal as a family is we're going to pray together more. Yeah. I guess we could involve the puppies too, make it a whole family matter. We do that sometimes. <laughs> we like hold their paws and they hate it. <laughs> Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> Nala's always like, what is going on? I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, family? You want to do family? Yeah. Here family's really long. I should read your notes. Um, it's a list. Okay. Uh, for our family, we're going to spend more um, time with our dogs. Not just seeing them at the house, but um, training. Um, enforcing some of the training we've done. Mm -hmm adding new um, training techniques, stuff like that. We call it tricks for treat toes. So yeah, yeah we're being more, more intentional yeah. with our dogs because we notice they just look so mopey sometimes, especially when we're working because like we still feed them, yeah. let them go outside yeah. to go potty, but then they just lay inside all day. And we live in an RV right now. We live in 300 square feet of space. Yeah. And just, so they can't exercise yeah. and they just need more like more time with us yeah training time fun time um another thing that's prompted this denali's gained some weight so we have to do more exercise time whether that's walks or off-leash hikes or just throwing the yeah. ball if we can get him to bring it back we'll see so yeah that's with the dogs um, he's a bit chunky right now camping more we love to camp it's mm -hmm. a great time for the two of us to connect it's a great um, opportunity for us to connect with other people we've had some we have some amazing memories with family and different friends camping didn't you say that was one of your most fond memories from our early marriages yes. the first time we went camping just the two of us and, and little puppy Nala. yeah little puppy Nala. yeah yeah it is one of my yeah. favorite memories of uh us in arizona mm -hmm. yeah is I don't know. It was just like, wow, this is real. This is our family mm -hmm. and we're doing this and I just loved it. So camping more. We only went camping twice last year. So super pathetic. And both of them were family camping trips. There yeah. was none with just us. Right. Um, that being said, we did travel. We did do travel early in the year. So it was, but it wasn't like in the woods or at the lake or whatever. It wasn't yeah. camping, camping. Um, taking more pictures together and better pictures together, mm -hmm. um, which is great because Instagram is important for us. <laughs> yeah. I want to learn how to pose for pictures too. Yes. Like we could take a ton of pictures together, but I feel like I'm really awkward Yeah, and you are too, which is why we fit together really well. Right. So it can be awkward together. Yeah. So and our pictures are just like, right. Not <laughs> taking simple selfies, but like, um, posed pictures, stuff like that. We want to do a lot better with that. Um, and the last thing is building the business together. Ooh, fancy. Yes, that's it. That is a separate thing. It's not a family thing, but at the same time, it is. It's drawing us closer together because of what the business is. And it is. Um, uh, it's really allowing us to learn more about each other as we grow this thing that we believe is going to be a part of our legacy as a family. Yeah. So, yeah. Good. Do you want to do the next one? Yeah. One thing I want to say about the family category, though, first is Noah and I don't have any children right now. Yeah. And if you do, I would suggest maybe splitting the family category into two and doing like couples goals and then like family, as in like including your children goals. Absolutely. Um, just otherwise, it'll just get, it could get really long and be overwhelming and like your couples goals could get mixed in there yeah. um you didn't mention this one though which one you didn't mention that our goal one of our goals is one date night a month oh my gosh. see we don't even have it. kids and it. it got lost in there so that's More why i would suggest splitting it up because you don't want to oh my god <laughs> lose little things like that that are really important yes yes it's not that it's not important to me i just didn't read it it's okay. I know you lost it in the whole paragraph that I wrote right here. Yeah, I did. Um, 
But yeah, that is one of our family goals. We want to try to do one date night a month yeah. because we're really bad at planning date nights and they just don't happen a lot of times. Absolutely. Um, one date night a month minimum. That's tonight. Yeah, it yes. is. And we're going to plan it at the beginning of the month. Yes. So then we know when it's going to happen. It's not just like, hey, you want to go on a date in an hour? You know, not that... Sometimes that can happen. Yeah, but, but we I... need one plan to make sure that we get it in. Absolutely. So, yeah. okay, friend goals. We said we want to learn to lead our small group, which is something that we just started last week. Yeah, We're starting a small group with a couple other married couples, young married couples with yeah. no kids like us. Yes. Yeah. So it's our young and married group. And volunteered to help lead it. Heck yeah. So we want to do that well and then continue just to grow in those relationships and then in other relationships with our other small group that yeah. we're in that we're not leading. Yeah. Um, I want to add one to that. Okay, go for it. Um, um, trying to be open to reaching out to people when we're, especially like when we're at church, mm. um, making sure to down. actually reach, reach out to people that we see that may be in our path and that we'd like yeah. to connect with. Be intentional about <laughs> reaching out. Um, yeah, I think that's a, that goes under the friend category because we want to build our community around us, especially with people our same age or are in the same phase of life as us because you need people that are going through the same struggles as you and are working through the same things as you to walk alongside you yeah so that's super important you me. need friends in a marriage yes which is another whole podcast topic we could do or multiple yes and something we have not had in our marriage until the past five months maybe and now we have multiple friends and I feel like we're thriving. It's amazing yeah. what that can do. Yeah. Okay. Finances. Yes, I'm not finances. very, I'm not very, I'm not the money person. No. You're the money person <laughs> in our relationship. So you can take finances. Okay, I'll do finances. Um, this is a lofty goal. And anyone that says uh, that has built a business before would say this is, impossible or um, just insane or insane or <laughs> really unlikely but we want the business to be self-sustaining in the in the next year not that it will pay all of our personal bills but it will pay all of its own bills which seems pretty reasonable because we we've structured it in a way that it's low it really doesn't take a lot yeah. to operate right now we'll see as it goes on i don't know but that's that's one of our big financial little goals is we mm -hmm. want the business to be uh, to be, be self-sustaining in the next year um the other thing is we want to be in our own place meaning so we um are still in the rv we've we're parked on um some family's property right now and they my family has been super generous my grandma specifically and we love being here but we also believe that um, God can do some really awesome stuff through us having a, a home mm -hmm. um, to be able to host groups and to be able to um, invite people to stay with us if they need or whatever and so we would like to move on to that next thing and that's going to take some money, so we're trying to... It's going to take some God, too. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Because we live in Colorado, and it's expensive. Ooh, ooh. So, yep, that's finances. Um, and uh, just getting, like... Being better about our finances. We do really well with budgeting, I, I think, in my opinion. We do well with staying on a budget, mm -hmm. making sure we're eating well but not shopping only at Whole Foods stuff like that um, I don't think we ever shop at Whole Foods our biggest issue is just money coming in and so working on that and that's has a big part to do with our business yeah so yeah okay after family goals 
it's important to share some individual goals yep. because we need to be growing individually in order to help grow our marriage. Grow individually so we can come together, have a stronger marriage, help yep. that grow. Absolutely. So, um, quickly, without a ton of explaining, what are some of your goals for this year? My goals this year. Okay. I want to work out and stretch more. I am the least flexible person you probably will ever see. True that. Yeah. Even though I'm not, I'm not overweight. I'm not, I just, I don't know. <laughs> my oh, family, so funny. <laughs> my family's built for rigidity. That's what we always say. But I believe that I can do better with stretching and mm -hmm. working out because I've been bigger before and I would like to be that way. Yeah. Um, being more organized or more um, routine based I want to build some routines into my schedule so that I am more productive because I feel like last year was a lot of reacting mm -hmm. it was like oh this person needs this done so we're going to go do that today even though I had this planned and that'll get done later and it never gets done or mm -hmm. whatever so that was yeah. Those were two two of my big ones. Um, reading more, for sure. Um, that would be nice. You yeah. can finally finish the book you started oh two gosh. years ago. I'm never going to let that go till you finish it. Here's my problem. <laughs> okay. So I, I love it when I can read. I'm not a fast reader, but I, I like getting more information, whatever. Um, the only time I've made to read is at night, and reading puts me to sleep and so it's like <laughs> it's a it's a yeah anyway it's a whole thing i want to read more okay the last one gotta have more sex yep every man's dream <laughs> that should be on every man's new year's resolution when you're talking to your wife say i want more sex so that she knows okay that's a good one yep okay i'm okay with that too good just okay. saying what are your goals or some of them um i want to work on my health a bit okay. i've been having just a lot of gut issues and stuff like that so work on that um and eat better which i feel like is part of the root of a lot of my gut issues <laughs> root <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm still at that stage where I, I still make root jokes yeah um and i want to exercise more and um just figure out what self-care means for me mm -hmm. like i know it's important and i don't know i try to take time for me and for self-care but i don't know what like what refuels me what does that actually mean for me so yeah. i want to try to figure out kind of what that means okay. and then do my devotion more because i know the times that i do i'm in a much better headspace or just space in general more connected with god i need to do that more yeah so those are those are some of mine those are great um i would encourage other people to um get more specific with their goals not just yes. exercise more you know right yeah and we did some of that but yeah we're gonna work on scheduling stuff yeah. So it's something I would encourage everyone. We're not going to get into all those specifics right now. Um, just because of time. I don't want to be sitting here for an hour yeah. talking about all of that. But just to, to mention that. Um, the, the beauty of sharing your goals with somebody else. Not just like I'm going to write my individual goals down and not tell you kind of thing. Because yeah. they're just for me. Yeah beauty of sharing them with your spouse um is that they can help keep you accountable mm -hmm. which is nice um and let you know the practicality of your goals i know both of us especially tend to aim really high because we have a lot of self-confidence sort of i know i struggle with confidence sometimes pride, but i feel I'm like sure. we yeah. both have it in our minds like i can do anything right. i put my mind to yeah um, so therefore we set a lot of really lofty goals yeah. <laughs> up here. Um, and so having someone to like tell you the practicality of your goals or 
Um, I think it's great that you want to lose weight in January, but maybe 50 pounds is a, is a bit too high of a yeah, goal. Yeah, trying not to be maybe critical. Maybe we aim for a little lower. Trying not to be critical, but also yeah. entertaining yeah. Yeah. your ideas. Which is, it's good to have goals. You can't yeah. get anywhere without them, but Absolutely. Um, if they're too high, they either become too overwhelming or they're just not attainable at that point and you either give up or you just get frustrated and that's just not what we want. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay. And your spouse should be someone that you feel comfortable sharing these things with. And Absolutely. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. We're pretty firm believers and there's, there's nothing that I shouldn't be able to share with my spouse. Right. So, yeah. I don't really want to keep anything from you, so I'm going to share all of my goals with you. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, some practical ways to help support your spouse. Yeah. Because um, you like practicality. Yeah, and this, <laughs> that was kind of the whole point of that prompted this podcast was like, yes, setting goals and resolutions are important, but us as couples need to be supporting our spouse in how... in their personal goals and uh, helping us as a team mm -hmm. work together to achieve both of our goals and our goals together yeah yeah i love the as a team that's a big big part yeah yeah so the biggest um tip we can give you to practically support your spouse in their goals is to tell your spouse express to your spouse how they can support you in each individual goal yes I'm not going to tell you, this is what I am going to do for you. I need right. you to tell me what is the best way that I can support you through your goals. Yeah, because I, um, when I'm setting my own goals, I know best how I could ha be helped mm -hmm. in that way. And if I say, no, I really don't know, then um, feel free to, as your the supporting spouse, say, well can we come back to it? Can you think about it a little bit and come back to it? Because I, I desire to help you. I desire to support you in what yeah. you want to do, but I need practical, practical things to actually help you with. Yeah. And make sure to revisit it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's okay if this takes longer than a one session, one yeah. time together thing. I understand I'm a really slow processor. So um, Noah asking me, um, how can I support you in this? A lot of times I have to say, like, I really appreciate that you want to support me in this, but I need some time to think of an answer because I don't have one right now right. and I'll get back to you. And then I can come back to you later and say, I thought about it. Here is the best way that you can help support me. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. Is that about it? Yeah, that's about it. So. What are the main things? Talk about your goals um, individually and yeah. together. Set aside as a team. time, time dedicated I'll to it. Actually, schedule the time to talk about it and yes. like and do focus it. on it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, talking about individual and family goals, mm -hmm. um, which family goals are: faith, family, finance, friends. Friends. Friends are important. Forget about that because we haven't had very many friends until yeah. now. I know. Um, and then how do we support each other? Mm -hmm. Right. And that is the biggest thing that we're trying to get to is we need to be supporting each other as a couple in progressing forward in life. We don't want to be criticizing each other. We don't want to be pulling each other down. Like, yeah, I know you need to work. You said you were going to work out today, but I'm just not, I'm not up for it. You know? So trying to push yourself and push your spouse to be better. Yeah. That's One all this comes to. last thing I want to add before we're done yep. is I would encourage everyone to take these goals and write them out mm -hmm. and then put them somewhere where you're going to see them often. Yeah. You don't want to write them in a notebook, close the notebook, put it in the drawer, never look at that page again. Yep. You want to yeah print them out put them post them yeah. in your bedroom print you could just them, uh, write them on a piece of paper and put them up if you put them on a couple of stickies 
stick yeah. them on your bathroom mirror. If you like things to look really pretty, you could take a bunch of time on it, which I probably will because ours aren't posted yet. <laughs> but have them somewhere where you're both going to be able to see them every day. Yes. You're both going to be able to see the family goals. You're yeah. both going to be able to see each other's goals so you can remember how you're supposed to be supporting your spouse. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So. Awesome. That's it. That's, That's it. all we have to say today. Cool. All right. Then um, we'll see you next week.